Right. Function h of x is equal to negative parentheses x plus 2 and parentheses squared. All right. So there's nothing added to the end of this equation right here. And that would have a direct influence upon the y value. So if it was plus, for instance, 2 there, it would go 2 up. If it was negative 3, it would go 3 down. So this has to do with going up and down. Now, whatever's influencing the x right here within the parentheses, that is going to have the opposite looking effect. So since there's a positive 2 there, you might think it's going to go 2 to the right. But actually what that means is it's going to go 2 to the left, 2 to the left, right? Um, so just to get, make this a better um, illustration of what it looks like, let's graph this. the uh, parent function. Oops. So the parent function would look something like this. So it go up, up, and I just keep going up, up, up. I'm thinking this. That's more like what the parent function looks like. So what I'm saying is this doesn't go up or down because it doesn't have anything added to the end of it, but the x is being manipulated by a plus 2, which means it's going to go 2 to the left. So this and every other point is going to move 2 to the left. Now, the other thing is since it has a negative in front, what that's going to do is it's going to flip everything. Okay, so it's going to flip everything. So all these points are going to be put down. So instead of the point being, you know, over the, the one over here, the 0 is not going to go anywhere, but the rest of them are going to move down here. So you can have a point here, point here, um, make sure I get this right, point here, point, something like this, and something like this. Okay. So just looking at that, because let me write over here big just to make sure you can see. The negative means it's going to go down. So that's where I get that down. It's going to face down. Okay, the plus 2 means that plus 2 right there means left 2. And that's the big part. Okay, so we want to uh, stretch the graph vertically by a factor of 2. No, this doesn't shrink. If there was some other um, variable right there, if it, the absolute value was greater than 1, then that would make it um, stretch, look skinnier. If the absolute value there of whatever, like say, say we put an A here, some number, it doesn't matter what it is, some number, I won't use X because I realize that's confusing, some number, and let's say that it was less than 1, then we're going to multiply all the Y values by a number less than 1, which is going to make it compress. So for instance, I put a half there, then the distance between all the Y values is now half. So it, it, it squished it, right? Whereas if I put a number greater than 1 there in front, right, of the parentheses, that means I'm multiplying the distance between all the y values by that factor. So if I had a 2 there, for instance, the distance would be doubled. So it would be from there, and then it would be doubled. So it's going to stretch it out and make it look skinny, so tall and skinny. So if the absolute value is greater than 1, tall and skinny. If the absolute value is smaller than 1, short and fat looking, right? If it's negative, it's going to be pointing down. If it's positive, it's going to be pointing up. So the only modifications to this from the original one are, is it's, instead of it being like the blue one, which is facing up, it's like the red one, it's facing down. And instead of it being um, the vertex being centered on the origin, instead it's been shifted three, uh, two, sorry, two to the left. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's not being stretched. Um, no vertical manipulation, so there's nothing there. Reflect the graph about the y-axis. Um, no. Shrink the graph horizontally. No. Shift the graph two units down. No. Shift the graph two units to the right. No. It did look like we shifted the unit to uh, two units to the left. Um, it did look like we reflect the graph about the x-axis. All right, fair enough. Uh, shift the graph two units up. No. Stretch the graph horizontally by a factor of two. No. And 
No. So this is the x-axis, by the way, right? So this whole thing right here in the middle is the x-axis. We kind of reflected that. 